Thank you, Elizabeth. We're learning new information about what went on with four Jaguars players this past weekend in London that led to them being arrested one day before they play the Eagles at Wembley Stadium. In the past hour, Coach Doug Marone said there will be consequences. There will be discipline taken, you know, saying, well, you know, obviously we'll handle that all internally. Um, you know, and, and you know, we're not, we're not, it's not a call to the principal's office. You know, it, it'll be it'll be disciplined. British police detained Barry Church, DJ Hayden, Ronnie Harrison, and Jared Wilson for failing to pay a bar tab of roughly $64,000 at a cabaret nightclub and then getting into an argument with the bouncers. Other Jaguars, including Miles Jack, Telvin Smith, and Leon Jacobs were also there but were not detained, according to a report on NFL.com. Questions are still being raised about what occurred in the wee hours of Saturday morning. News 4 Jack's I-Team reporter Vic Michalucci has been gathering details all day. He is joining us live from Sneakers at Jacksonville Beach, where this will be a topic on the Mark Brunel Show in less than an hour from now, Vic. A lot of people talking about it. We are hearing from disappointed fans, members of the coaching staff, and fellow players. I spoke with police today in London. They told me that they did arrest these four players. They took them downtown, held them on fraud charges, questioned them for several hours, and then eventually released them without any criminal charges because someone paid the tab, and the management from that nightclub decided not to press any charges. A bad weekend for the Jaguars on the field and off. I would say to the fans that uh, we're sorry that, that you all are feeling some kind of way right now that we're not playing up to your standards. Linebacker Telvin Smith apologizing for the loss and the distraction Saturday morning as London police detained four players for not paying a tab. British officers responded to the London Rain nightclub around 4 a.m. after reports of a scuffle with bouncers. UK media says several Jags players tried to skip out on a $65,000 liquor bill, the team paying the check and handling it internally. Before we start, you know, going on the field and performing better, we've got to take a good look at what we're doing, you know what I'm saying, at all the other times when we're in the building, out of the building, and all those things. Now the reports are there were several additional players who were also involved. You're talking about leaders. You know, you're talking about the Telvin Smiths and Miles Jacks and, and TJ Yeldons. Sports talk show host Jeff Prosser says there is a clear lack of discipline and maturity here. They're young guys. They're, you know, there's nothing wrong with going out. There is something wrong with getting arrested. There's something wrong with spending nine hours in the jail, uh, you know, 30 hours before you play a football game. News for Jack sports analyst and former Jaguars QB Mark Brunell agrees. If they're 6-2 and two right now, I don't think this is that big of a story. Um, but the fact that they're 3-5, and five, yeah, it, it's a big story because it makes you wonder uh, where their head's at. The players in question were not criminally charged because the team settled the debt, and they did play on Sunday. Your coach Marone or your coach Coughlin, you get a one-on-one -on -one with these guys after they got in trouble. What do you tell them? I'm, I'm just asking, hey, listen, what are you thinking? You know, you got to be smarter than that, and uh, we're going to find you. Uh, these are the consequences for that. No word yet on any possible fines from the team, but Mark Brunell there says that they could be hefty. As far as a curfew, he told me that they are not under curfew the night before the game, only the night immediately before the game. So on Friday night, they're allowed to go out, do whatever they please, but they're asked to be responsible. We're live in Jacksonville Beach. I'm Vic Michalucci, Channel 4, the local station. Vic, we just heard from Coach Marone, but is there any other information provided by the team? Very few details. We heard from the team in the early morning hours right after it happened. Since then, they have not released any other official statements. Doug Marone said that it is being handled internally. This afternoon, we were in the locker room at TIAA Bank Field trying to talk to the players. All of them said they had no comment. They did not want to speak about it any further. They're passing it off to the public relations team with the Jaguars. Vic Michalucci reporting live from Sneakers at Jacksonville Beach. A reminder of the Mark Brunell Show on CW17 at 7 o'clock. Thank you, Vic.